American soft drinks that are banned in other countries. Have you ever traveled to another country and wondered why you can't find your favorite Gatorade? And it's not just Gatorade. There are many American products that you won't find in other countries because they have been banned. Every country has a government agency that decides if products are safe to consume, similar to the FDA in the United States. While the FDA might say a product is safe, other countries' agencies may disagree. So some popular drinks from the U.S. are not available in other countries because those countries have decided they're not safe for sale. Mountain Dew is a citrus-flavored soft drink that has some restrictions in certain countries. Japan and the European Union have banned it for different reasons. In Japan, the government limits the amount of caffeine allowed in soft drinks to 100 milligrams per 100 milliliters. However, Mountain Dew contains 150 milligrams per 100 milliliters, so it exceeds the allowed caffeine limit, leading to its ban in Japan. In the European Union, Mountain Dew contains an ingredient called brominated vegetable oil, or BVO, which is a flame retardant. BVO has been linked to health problems like memory loss and skin irritation. Due to safety concerns, the European Food Safety Authority has banned BVO in food and beverages, including Mountain Dew. Because of these bans, you won't find Mountain Dew in stores in Japan or in the European Union. However, it may still be available for purchase online or in some specialty stores. In the United States, it's not banned, but many beverage companies have chosen not to use BVO in their products because of health concerns. Fanta is a popular orange-flavored soft drink, but it's not available in stores in Japan and the European Union. The reason for this is that it contains that substance called brominated vegetable oil, or BVO. It's been linked to health concerns like memory loss and skin irritation. In the United States, Fanta is still allowed, but many big beverage companies have chosen not to use BVO anymore due to safety worries. As mentioned, that limit in Japan on how much caffeine can be in soft drinks exists, and Fanta also contains 150 milligrams per 100 milliliter, so it exceeds the government's caffeine limit and cannot be sold there. And in the European Union, BVO is banned because it's considered a potential health hazard. Experts have found that BVO can build up in the body and cause health issues. This is why Fanta is not available in stores in the EU. However, even with the ban, some people might still find Fanta online or in certain specialty shops. Sundrop is a citrus-flavored soft drink that cannot be sold in Japan because it contains a lot of caffeine. The Japanese government has the rule that limits the amount of caffeine to 100 milligrams per 100 milliliters in soft drinks. Sundrop unfortunately has 150 milligrams of caffeine per 100 milliliters, so it exceeds this limit. Caffeine is a stimulant that can affect the body in various ways, like increasing heart rate, blood pressure, and making people feel more awake. However, too much caffeine can lead to problems like anxiety, trouble sleeping, and headaches, especially in children and young people. To protect public health, the Japanese government decided to ban Sundrop from stores in their country. But you might still find it online or in some specialty stores. Dr. Pepper is a black cherry flavored soft drink that cannot be sold in Norway because it contains a lot of sodium benzoate. This is a preservative used in food and beverages to stop bacteria from growing. For most people, sodium benzoate is safe, but in some individuals, they can have allergic reactions to it. The Norwegian government decided to ban Dr. Pepper because they're worried that the high levels of sodium benzoate in the drink could be risky for those who are allergic to it. Allergic reactions to sodium benzoate can range from mild skin rashes to severe reactions like anaphylaxis. To protect people's health, Dr. Pepper is not found in stores in Norway. However, if you really want it, you might be able to buy Dr. Pepper online or in some specialty stores. Verner's is a ginger ale that cannot be sold in Norway because it contains too much caffeine. The Norwegian government has a rule that limits the amount of caffeine in soft drinks to 150 milligrams per liter. Unfortunately, Verner's has 200 milligrams of caffeine per liter, which exceeds that limit. Caffeine is a stimulant that can affect the body in different ways, like increasing heart rate and blood pressure and making people feel more awake. But too much caffeine can lead to issues like anxiety, trouble sleeping, and headaches, especially in children and young people. To protect public health, the Norwegian government decided to ban Verner's from stores in their country. But if you really want to have Verner's, you might be able to find it online or in some specialty shops. Red Bull, an energy drink, is banned in Denmark, Norway, and Sweden because it has too much caffeine. These countries have rules that limit the amount of caffeine in soft drinks to 100 milligrams per 100 milliliters. 
And Red Bull has too much for their regulations. As we mentioned, caffeine's a stimulant that can affect the body by increasing heart rate and blood pressure and making people more alert. It has a variety of side effects too. To protect public health, the governments of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden decided to ban Red Bull from their stores. But as we've been saying, if you really need your Red Bull, you might find it available for purchase online or in certain specialty stores. Four Loco is an alcoholic energy drink that was banned in some U.S. states in 2010 because it contained both alcohol and caffeine. The combination of alcohol and caffeine can be dangerous because caffeine can hide the effects of alcohol, making people feel more alert even when they're drunk. This can lead to excessive drinking and a higher risk of alcohol poisoning. Four Loco was initially marketed as a party drink and was popular among college students. However, there were reports of people getting sick or even dying after consuming Four Loco. Because of these concerns, some states decided to ban the drink. Some states lifted the ban after Four Loco changed its formula to remove caffeine, but some states like California, Illinois, Illinois and Washington still have banned for loco. Jolt Cola is a cola with extra caffeine that was banned in Canada, Norway, and Sweden in the late 1990s. The reason for the ban was that Jolt had more caffeine than what these countries allowed in soft drinks. They limit caffeine to 71.5 milligrams per 100 milliliters, and Jolt Cola had 72 milligrams. Caffeine is a stimulant that can make your heart rate and blood pressure go up and keep you alert, but too much can cause problems like anxiety, trouble sleeping, and headaches, especially in children and young people. The governments of Canada, Norway, and Sweden ban Jolt Cola to protect public health, especially for the young ones who might consume a lot of soft drinks. So you won't find Jolt Cola in these stores in these countries, but you still might be able to buy it online or in some specialty shops. Kool-Aid, a powder drink mix, is not allowed in some European countries because it contains artificial colors. These colors are synthetic dyes added to food and drinks to make them look better. Some studies suggest these colors might cause hyperactivity in kids and could be linked to allergies, asthma, and cancer. But there's no strong proof that they're harmful. To play it safe, the European Union bans certain artificial colors like Red 40, Yellow 5, and Yellow 6 in food and drinks. Since Kool-Aid has these colors, it's not sold in some European countries like France, Germany, and Sweden. But don't worry, if you need to have your Kool-Aid, you can still find it online or perhaps in some specialty stores, just not in regular stores in these countries. Moxie, a root beer, is not allowed in Canada because it contains too much caffeine. The Canadian government has a rule that limits the amount of caffeine in soft drinks to 71.5 milligrams per 100 milliliters, but Moxie has 86 milligrams per 100 milliliters. Caffeine is a stimulant that can increase heart rate and blood pressure to make you feel more alert, but too much of it causes issues, as we've mentioned, like anxiety, trouble sleeping, and headaches, especially for children and young people. And to protect public health, Canada decided to ban Moxie from stores, but this is another one that you may be able to buy online or in some specialty stores. So what do you think? Which of these soft drinks have you tried? We hope you've enjoyed learning about the American soft drinks that are banned in other countries. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let us know what other food-related topics you would like us to cover.